The kickoff glitch is one of the most abused glitches in the PES series. With years of calls for it to be removed, promises made but never delivered, the glitch still exists in the newly formed eFootball. But are there any ways to prevent the kickoff glitch from affecting your game? Welcome to gaming and welcome to my how to stop the kickoff glitch in eFootball 2022 video. So the kickoff glitch can be super annoying when you're playing against human opponents. Many opponents lack skill and therefore exploit the game's kickoff glitch. It's a really cheap way to score goals and many players abuse it. But here are some tips from me to help you avoid the kickoff glitch. Firstly, you're going to want to select one of your centre backs from the kickoff. You can do this by using the right analog stick to select your player at the back line. Once you've done this and the kickoff is taken from your opponent, click the R1 button for a call for pressure. This is something that I have spoken about in a previous video that you can watch by clicking the link in the top corner. But this should send a striker running towards the player with the ball and hopefully get a block in. Now, even if your player doesn't manage to get the block in from the kickoff, you have manual control of a centre back and you can drop them further back into the field. This should hopefully place them near the on-rushing striker that is hoping to receive the long ball over the top. Use your radar to help you with this to get the positioning correct. As the ball is floating over, make sure to get your defender close to the attacker so that you can intercept the through ball. These two things combined should help you prevent most of the kickoff glitch attempts that come your way. It might take you a few goes to get this down, but hopefully by maybe the third or fourth match, you will have learned this technique well enough to avoid the kickoff glitch. Always assume the kickoff glitch is coming. Never rest on your laurels. I've done it at times where it hasn't happened for a few games and you think that it's not going to happen in the game coming up and of course you come up against a sweaty player that will use the kickoff glitch. Now some players may have adapted to this. There's been occasions where these methods that I'm explaining to you now haven't quite worked as well as I had intended. It might be a case of they go for a different route. You can do a low pass through ball to counteract some of these measures that I'm explaining to you now. But if you do use these, you should be in a decent enough place to counteract at least eight out of 10 attempts. Other last ditch efforts to avoid the kickoff glitch are things like causing an early foul. Get a foul in on your opponent to stop them sending the ball long over the top. Now this is much more risky as you could end up getting a yellow card, which then could put your player at risk of a red card later on. You may even get a red card straight from the original foul but as a last ditch effort to avoid the kickoff glitch you can use this certainly in the dying minutes of a game if you've just taken the lead and you don't want to concede this could be a good way of preventing it as well a third method that you could try is to make sure that your keeper is rushing out as the ball is delivered over the top so if you've not managed to set up your defense to counteract as i explained earlier and you've not caused a foul on your opponent then make sure to hold on to the triangle button to rush your goalkeeper out. This is probably the least effective one as if they've pinpoint passed their through ball over the top, they can very much likely chip the goalkeeper or take the ball around him. But as a last, last ditch effort, this is a method you can use. So those are my tips to avoid the kickoff glitch in eFootball 2022. Let me know in the comments below if these have helped you in your online games and leave a like if they have as well. I'll see you in the next one.